Hello YouTube, how are you doing? I trust by the grace of God, everybody under the sound of my voice is doing great by the grace of God. Hello, my name is Bishop Nanako Siasipola, aka Reverend Nana Sipola. I'm here at the Missions Canada Conference Exhibition. And it's amazing at the Heartland Church Community Church in Mississauga. And this exhibition is so great, it's almost done. But if you are around the Mississauga area, come on down. Grab a coffee, grab a tea, grab water, whatever you can, sit tight, call a friend, tell a friend, call a friend. Tune in into Empowerment Culture Outreach. Here we have an amazing woman with LAS organization and she's gonna tell us about the organization, what they do, how they came about. So stay tuned because you may be of help, you may need it, or your ministry may need it, your organization may need it. So we're gonna talk to this amazing lady. Thanks for granting us this interview. How has it been today? Great? Good, yeah, connecting with lots of people. It's nice to be here where we're all working towards the same goal. So it's nice. Amazing. So, MAF, what is it about? What's the, uh, um, the definition of yeah. MAF? So, and MAF, what is it about? Yeah, MAF stands for Mission Aviation Fellowship. Mm -hmm. uh, we operate out of Canada. We'll just, uh, got somebody coming through here. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, we've been uh, in operation since 1946, so just after World War II. Um, there were three pilots who, during the war, were flying aircraft for the war and thought afterwards, how can we bring hope um, to the world instead with the skills that we have? And so out of that birth is MAF. Um, our first pilot, her name is Betty Green, and she flew um, into Mexico for Wycliffe Bible Translators. And uh, I love, as a woman, being part of a legacy that started with women, so that's fantastic. Uh, what MAF does is we use small aircraft, light aircraft, if you will, um, to bring hope, help, and healing to the world's most isolated areas. So if you think of the remote villages and um, hard to reach areas across the world because of mountains, rivers, unpassable roads, places that would take days to walk to maybe see a doctor, we can use the aircraft to get there within half an hour. Um, we're partnering with many of the organizations that are here at Missions, Missions Conference. Uh, we fly maybe their missionaries, maybe we fly uh, the nutrition supplements of, say, Samaritan's Purse into refugee camps. Maybe we are helping Red Cross after a national disaster doing surveying flights, assessing damage, where's the most hard hit areas, where does the need need to go, bringing um, Bible translators, as I said, bringing pastors into villages that have never heard the gospel. So all of these things happen because of this tool that we have amazing pilots and mechanics um, working together to just let the gospel be known. Wow. Yeah. Such an amazing way to support the work of God and humanity. I mean, as a, an, an owner of an agency called Empowered Hope and Healing, this is all about hope and healing. Yes. And that makes me gravitate towards this yep. project. It's amazing, it's so needed. Because as an African, I know there are some places when you hit there, there's no transportation, nothing can go there, but when you have this aircraft, they can travel and you know contribute or distribute the supplies that's needed to save lives. This is amazing. Your organization is amazing. And what God is doing is amazing. God so, yes. is amazing. <laughs> awesome God. And thank you so much for MAF, MAF to say yes to this calling because anything that the Lord drops on our heart is what is he's calling us to do and our obedience to say yes to it that's what makes all the difference bringing transformation to the world helping people this is sharing the love of Christ right there ministry doesn't have to be holding the mic and speaking or preaching the word helping people being the hands and feet of Jesus here on planet Earth. Kingdom citizens, 
here representing the Creator, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, God Almighty. Building people, living kingdom cultured life, this is what it's all about. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, Empowerment Culture Outreach. Share so other people, other people will get this amazing information from this conference to help them build the kingdom of God here on earth. If you have, don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, this is the time to do that. Time is of the essence, my dear love. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. It is my prayer that we all live another hundred years. But it's not in our hands. We don't make those decisions. So why don't you hastily give your life to Christ? Take him as your Lord and personal Savior. Shalom, peace. Okay.